Welcome to DK Live here at Mall of America at Radio Row. I'm Katie Emmer, joined alongside Steve White this morning. Steve, honored to have you here. Well, thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining us. And we were just talking. You're from North uh, Minneapolis. North Minneapolis. Coming coming home for Absolutely. you this week. Absolutely. Old Xerxes Avenue, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> sure. So a little bit of a homecoming. Yeah. But the weather's still the same in the winter as it was back then. Yeah, but at least you know your <laughs> way around. Some people here, it's their first time, especially Mall of America. Have you been here to Mall of America? I it's have. I have been, but it's still every time you come here, it's overwhelming. Yeah. And, and this setup here on Radio Row is fantastic, though. Yeah, I mean, it it's allows, a good setup. It allows the fans to kind of see what we do. It kind of pulls back the curtain a little bit. So I think it's really cool that they get that opportunity. Awesome. What's been the highlight event so far? We're sitting at Thursday of Super Bowl week. Anything stand out that's been pretty uh, cool so far that you've done? Um, it's kind of, sort of. Yeah. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Um, the parties will actually yeah, start I was like waiting for that. tonight and tomorrow. So, okay. if, you know, if you ask me that question tomorrow and yeah. then again on Saturday, then I'll probably have two different answers for you. Yeah. But, no, I'm looking forward to a couple of things. You know, the Hall of Fame, I'm very involved in the Pro Football mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. So, the selection is Saturday. Of course, the big Randy Moss, Terrell Owens debate. Yep. Did one get, does one get in? Did both get in? Yep. You know, does T.O. get held out again? So. A lot of good things are, are on the horizon right now. We're kind of grinding to get to that weekend. Awesome. Steve, I have to ask you, do you play fantasy sports? Uh, I have. I do. Okay. I tend to have uh, Game of Thrones really? names for my team. Made it to the playoffs last year, and uh, this year, you know, they, they, kicked, they kept me outside of the north wall. Can you give us a couple of those team names, for example? Uh, well, one, <laughs> one was just like uh, G-O-T-U, got you. People didn't get it. It was a Game of Thrones U. Um, I actually, gosh, what was the... The one I, I went off the Game of Thrones grid the last time I played. I can't I, I can't recall what it was, but it was a two point conversion. <laughs> it was a two point conversion type of name. I can't recall it though. Awesome. Well, uh, big news recently in football: the Alex Smith trade. Yeah. What is your uh, What's your idea on that? Well, Washington's getting a fantastic quarterback. Yeah. I mean, people are talking about Alex Smith. He's 33, 34. They're getting him on the back end, but he's still a fantastic player, mm -hmm. a, a great guy. Um, it's weird, though, because him and Kirk Cousins are kind of the same guy in terms of the leader, the personality, the skill set. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if Alex is the guy who necessarily is going to take them to the next level. However, economically, they had to make this move. I mean, they, they, the Redskins botched the handling of Kirk Cousins. I understand them being apprehensive and not mm -hmm. offering him the mega long-term deal. If, if they weren't secure, he was their guy. Mm -hmm. But to take it to franchise tags and to put themselves in the spot, you know, but I get why they made the trade. For Kirk Cousins, now he becomes the guy. Um, because most of the other teams that need quarterbacks, they're going to get those through the draft. Mm -hmm. So Kirk Cousins is, you know, be at Denver, uh, you know, be at Arizona. He's going to make a tremendous amount of money. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to think that here's a guy that one team paid a lot of money but got rid of that mm -hmm. didn't want. And now he's going to get like about a $125 million contract with – He's going to get more guaranteed than Alex Smith. Alex Smith has got $71 million guaranteed, which is insane. That's more than Russell Wilson. I mean, it's more than Aaron Rodgers. It's more than me. Yeah, so. me too. <laughs> so we're in the same boat right on. We're there. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, talking about the Super Bowl, um, the Pats, you yep. were with them in the AFC Championship mm -hmm. game. Can you tell us how that, how that was? It was typical Patriots. Yeah. Um, it's, like, it's like what they do for the first quarter. Quarter, quarter and a half, they let you have your way. You do your thing. If you take your lead, you take your lead. The whole time they're just deciphering what's going on. So that's what yeah. they did. That's what they did to the Jaguars, kind of like what they did to the Falcons, except they took the thrill of things for three quarters last year in the Super Bowl. Um, but they're they're just look for as long as I've covered the sport, more than 15 years. All you can say about the Patriots is it, it's they're they're never out of. It's just incredible. You know, I know there's people in 47 states who are yeah. pulling like hell for the Eagles because they're <laughs> tired of the Patriots winning this. But the respect you have to have for them for how they just don't flinch, regardless of the circumstances. Mm -hmm. how, that's how it was against the Jaguars. And I do think the Jaguars actually lost that game to yeah. a degree. I think the coaches overthought themselves a little bit in the second half. Um, but at the same time, I mean, Tom Brady, there's nothing he hasn't seen. Yeah. So the Eagles have to understand. You've already heard him in the news conferences. We know we have to play for 60 minutes because if there's .01 on that clock, the Patriots still have a shot. Okay, so what is your final score prediction? Really quick. Final score prediction, I have got the Pats okay. winning 24-21. Uh, Pats 24-21. Yep. We'll, we'll have to Mark see. Steve, thank you for joining us. And where can everyone catch you uh, later on this week and well, today? Well, we will be here at NFL Network. Yep. Catch me on uh, Twitter, Weich89, W-Y-C-H-E 89. So. Just turn on the network. I'll be there somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, and Take have fun the rest of the week.